Ugh, my neck. But who cares about my neck? Because we just got some good news. Well, we didn't just got some good news. There was good news a little while ago. And um, I heard the news earlier on, but I was doing other stuff. So I wasn't able to get to the news, but I am now. I am able to do the news now. And so, as you can see, I mean, if you're watching this, you already know the title of this video. Tales of Vesperia has been, well, partially confirmed. So basically the thing is, is that Gamatsu has discovered a new domain, a new domain for Bane Namco. It's a domain for the 10th anniversary of Tales of Vesperia and it's currently password locked so no one can actually access it. If you search the domain it just pops up with a password and username and password, which I hope someone hacks it before. Okay, maybe I don't hope that. But the thing is, is that we should be hearing news about Tales of Vesperia at E3 because I mean it's just a couple more days E3 is on the 12th it starts on the 12th officially right and so just a couple more days until we actually are able to hear what's really going on with Tales of Vesperia there was some other news about some other Tales of games which I believe JRPGs covered I think that's how his YouTube name is spelled and um, this particular topic about Tales of Vesperia was covered by Shadow Elite HD earlier on today and so I'm finally getting on to it I'm finally able to start talking about this particular game and I just want to tell you guys I'm excited I played the original on the Xbox 360 which wasn't really the best version but who cares I enjoyed it whatever uh, but, <laughs> but yeah basically they're remastering it potentially each we will find out more information about it and that's all we really know all we really know is the information about the domain so we don't really have much more to go on other than that at the moment other than the fact that Ban and Amco have to announce something at E3 so the thing is is that this game has been finally we've gotten some sort of something to grasp onto with this new domain and the thing is that I'm hopeful very very hopeful that it lands itself on the PC because I mean come on that's where I want to play it the most and also on the Nintendo Switch because I mean I'm playing all my JRPGs on the Switch it will be the JRPG machine I'm just telling you guys, it's a new JRPG machine, it's taken over from where the Vita left, I still love my Vita, but the Switch will continue the trend of the JRPG love. So basically yeah, this game is not really officially announced, but this is as close to an announcement as we can get right about now, and we just have a couple more days until E3 and we can actually, you know, about 6 more days, I think it's about 6 more days, until an official thing may be announced and we'll be like, yeah, Returns of Vesperia! So, yeah, pretty much. That's the, the gist of it. And so, yeah, I just want to make a quick video about it in case you haven't heard. I mean, if you haven't heard, I mean, where are you living? Under a rock or something? Uh, or maybe, maybe like me, you were doing stuff and, um, you know, didn't have time to, like, notice it until, like, about now. So basically, yeah, I recommend going and check out Shadow Elite HD's uh, video of it. He d he went into a bit more depth about the video, and I don't really want to tread on the same exact talking points because of the fact that he's already covered it. So I recommend going and checking out his video. But what I can say is that I'm excited about it. I'm excited for the game. I'm hopeful that it's on PC, which it better be. Um, all I can say, other than that, that I can add to it is just basically that the domain is a Japanese registered domain. So you should keep that in mind. That most likely than not, this is going to come out in Japan first and then we're going to get into North America. My educated estimate that I can say, or guesstimate, is that we'll probably get this sometime next year. I don't think we'll get it this year because of the fact that games like these usually take time to work on, and I don't know how long they may have been working on something like this, but if they're working on an update, I mean, the game doesn't really need much to update it for this generation because of the gorgeous shell shading graphics. But that being said, if they are going to, you know, port it for those current gen platforms and maybe if they are considering doing switch and pc and you know depend on the platforms that they're considering doing they are gonna have to consider optimization and because of that i am really really leaning towards next year i'm also hopeful for next year as well because of the fact that my year is already swamped i have other things i want to recover in this year so i'm hopeful that we do get it next year maybe like next year january like we did with i think the sarah came out in on sometime around that kind of time frame like around a february january time frame so yeah, I would like to see it somewhere around that kind of time frame next year, which will give me enough time to actually get on it when it's actually out. If not, well, I'll settle for it if it comes out this year. I'm just saying I would prefer it next year, and I do think it would be next year because, well, there's so many games coming out this year already. So, thanks for watching this little me blurbing about stuff video thingamajig. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit a like and subscribe to this channel. And also, if you'd like to see more content like this from us, make sure to hit that little bell icon thingamajig that will help you get notifications when we put up new videos and all that kind of good stuff. So, without further ado, I bid you adieu until the next video.